Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be making some farmhouse organic bread. Very easy recipe. Now if you've been here before you'll know exactly where to find your recipe down in the description. Now the recipe I've put you today is actually a scaled down version of what I'm actually doing. So it'll be interesting to see how you get on with that guys. And also the tins I'm using you can use ordinary bread tins if you want. You don't have to use the special farmhouse tins that I'm using. Please subscribe and please share. Anyway, we'll get right on with the video. First, I'm gonna be starting off with some Shipton Mill organic white flour. Now I have tested this flour out before, so I know roughly where we're gonna be with it. And also the loaf that comes off of it was very, very nice and it tastes lovely. So the reason I'm making this today is actually I've got an order for three large farmhouse bread, but they wanted organic. So we're using all the organic ingredients for this. For example, this is four pound of flour. Now I'm using old school recipes. So we're into pounds and ounces. 40 ounces of water. And into this also, it's one ounce of salt, half an ounce of organic improver, and a pinch of sugar. And also two ounces of yeast. Now to give your bread a bit more flavor, this is a bit of dough I made yesterday. So all we're gonna do is Take a little piece, you don't want much. I guess that's around about four ounces. Okay. Okay, so around about four ounces would be plenty enough for, to go into that. Because if you put too much in, you can also tang the dough as well. All you want is just a little bit of flavor. So we'll put that in. And now we'll get the machine on. We're gonna be mixing the dough for around about 10 minutes. Halfway through, I'm gonna stop the machine just to check that those consistency is okay. If it needs extra water, I'll add in water. If it needs extra flour, then I'll add in flour. I'm gonna add a bit more flour in. That should be enough. Right, your dough's ready, we'll get it on the table. And that's it. Now I've covered the dough over, we're going to leave it here now to bulk proof for around about 45 minutes, give or take. It could take longer. Now, in my previous videos, I've done tests basically on the bulk proof, and I found that 45 minutes has been right on the money. So, same thing is, We'll look at it at 45 minutes. Uh, it definitely won't be ready in 30. Depends on the temperature once again, but I'm almost certain, for, I'm gonna leave it 45 minutes and then we'll start carrying on with making it into bread. Now, this is your farmhouse tins. As you can see, this is a strap of three. You can buy them singly. Uh, Lakeland, UK, sell them, I believe so. So you can see the different shape. They're sort of an oval shape and that's just straightforward split tin. Now, the dough which we're using is the same dough you use for splits. White dough is white dough. Obviously, this is an organic process we're doing today, but the farmhouse difference is only the tin. It's got nothing to do with the dough itself. Well, that's, um, that's made it likely. You think, oh, you're buying something different. It's the same as if you're buying tiger bread. The dough itself is identically all the same. There's no different. All the bread doughs you buy today, most white breads are all the same. You don't get different flavored ones. It's always basically the same. Now it's only small bakers like us that will make it a little bit different flavor or we just make it all the same, whatever the case may be. Now all we're gonna be doing is spraying the tins with prep spray. Now you can buy this off my eBay store. The link is in the description below. 
very good stuff. And all we'll be doing is just spraying it in up. All the way around. As simple as that. I can recommend this to you every day of the week. It's brilliant. I wouldn't be using if it wasn't any good. Not just because I sell it, the fact is I use it. And if I use it, it's got to be all right. Uh, I use it for everything. Right, the dough's ready. Now we'll scale it off at two pound. And normally, you'd normally knock this back. But when I scale it, I'm knocking it back anyway. So it's fine. Now what I've said in a previous video is this dough doesn't have as much lift as what I call real flour. Because it's organic, it doesn't seem to have that like lift. It's probably because it's got a lot of English wheat in it. Now we'll leave these for a few minutes just to recover and then we'll mold them up and put them in the tins. Right, you're going to need your tin. And now we're going to mold them up. So best way to do it is to lift it up and bang it into the table like this and then turn it over. And all we're going to do is fold it over like and then using these bits of the finger like the knuckle bit and and then roll it up towards you. So it's a nice tight roll like that. And that just fits the tin. Right, we're now going to be proving these for around at one hour, give or take. Now you want the, it to rise so it's above the top of the tins. So it's just like that. Now we're going to be proving the farmhouse bread up for around about one hour. And the temperature of proving is around about 25 Celsius, give or take. You know where I am. It's a sort of a window. Right, I think the farmhouse is ready. We'll look, have a quick look. And all we're going to do with these now is put flour over the top and put a cut down them. Right, we'll get the farmhouse in. Now, they're going to be baking for around about 35 minutes. Sometimes they take up to 40 minutes. The oven temperature is 230 Celsius. Now, halfway through the baking, all I'm going to do is check them and turn them around in the oven. And that's the same thing as if you're at home, do the same thing. And also, if you're finding the oven's burning the top of the loaf, just turn the oven off or turn it down. Right, the farmhouse bread's ready. We'll get it out. There you go, guys. Very simple organic farmhouse bread. Yeah, and that does look a very, very nice loaf of bread. Now, I did give this a good bulk fermentation of one hour, and that was long enough. I didn't want to give it any longer. I don't know how it would go, but I'm well impressed with those. They're, they look really, really nice. So, and this is actually shipped and mill flour. So, and it's their traditional version. So it's not a bad loaf. So if you've got a flour company you're using and you get a nice loaf of bread from it, let me know who it is down below the video and I'll see if I can get some flour off them and have a go with myself. Don't forget guys, your recipe is down below in the description. 
And also down there you'll find a number of other things like subscribe <laughs> if you want to. And also there's a number of playlists. Now we've got plenty of these recipes coming along. So numbers of you guys have said to me, Steve, you ain't doing enough bread baking. And I said, yeah, I do a lot of bread baking. It's just the fact is that, uh, and we want more of it. So I thought to entertain you guys, I'll have a run on organic bread. And there we go. Now don't forget, your recipe down below the video is to make a smaller amount, not this amount and it will be in new money, not old money. Well, there we go, guys. That's another video over. If you enjoy the content and you want to join me on this channel, please subscribe and please share. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters. This is the Crazy Baker channel. Baking. Lifestyle. recipes, reviews, I am the crazy baker, please subscribe and please share, laters!